Uh, in my first lockdown with Oddy video, which is the 1990s New York shop front dioramas models by the fantastic artist Randy Hage, I received quite a few comments. Uh, thank you for that. And one of them was from Doreen Renga. Odd man, you will love my artist friend's miniature artwork of numerous dive bars. Yep, dive bars. Here's a link for you to enjoy. And enjoy it, I did. So now we're going to have a look at them. Check these out. So he has boxes and he has the dive bars, which we'll get to. Let's check out his uh, his boxes. They have a very sort of they have a sort of dark dream atmosphere to them. I really like them. I love the sort of the red lit and the crinkled wallpaper. They're not as detailed as Randy Gage's, but they have a but they have a surreal quality to them, which I really like. You know that sort of eerie eerie sort of spooky feeling so this is this one's called hurry up and wait look at the uh, chains on the door and the <laughs> and the shotgun wow P pity there's not more close-ups but uh, i do love the little details he has here with the old-fashioned uh, light switch they're, they're really quite suspenseful what is he waiting for help from above <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Crutches. There. Has the person wandered downstairs and can't get back up? They're a bit like Joseph Cornell's boxes, uh, which are fantastic. I might do a um I might do a documentary on Joseph Cornell. Cornell, did I say Cornell? Cornell. He, I love his work, I really do. Uh, I I've done similar stuff, uh you know, just experimenting with doing little boxes like that, frame boxes. I might show you one day, but uh, nothing like this. These are really good, actually. Really good. He's going more for the effect than the detail, and he's certainly achieved it. The mold on the door. I love it. I, I quite like that he doesn't explain what's going on either. I quite like that. So what's happening here? Let's have a bit of a... I can't... That's... It's almost like an Escher type of print, isn't it? So there's nothing else on there. The storeroom. Okay, yeah, I like that. That's very much like a Cornell box, isn't it? If you've ever seen Joseph Cornell boxes, he, he sort of pasted old stuff that he'd cut from magazines. And... Uh, and he used to let the neighborhood kids play with these things. And even at that time, they were worth a lot of money. I mean, they're pretty much priceless now. I will, I'll do a documentary on Joseph Cornell. Very sort of reclusive, interesting life that he had. The library. The gallery, sorry. This one's called the gallery. Yeah. It's very, very Joseph Cornell influenced. I don't know if, if he was influenced. I suspect he was. I suspect that he was, yeah. I haven't actually read much about the site here. I'm just flicking through. So what's this one called? This is Third Street. I like that too. Sort of a seedy tenement apartment block. Yeah, as I say, not not the uh, the detail that Randy Cage has, but certainly it has the desired effect. Hubbards. So uh, Hubbard's must be maybe some type of store. Nothing underneath that, so the white room. Shall we look at the white room, my dear friends? Let's have a quick look at the white room. Yeah, I love the spattered paint, the old wallpaper. You can actually see where the he's, he's done that well. Where where, old, where pictures had been hanging. They always leave that mark on the on the wall. Third Street, Hubbard's White Room, Studio 10. Let's have a look at Studio 10. Okay, it looks like a sort of basement apartment, doesn't it? With the embossed wallpaper, I like that. I like that very much. And the secret room. Oh, well, we have to go and check out the secret room. I like, I like the crackalua effect here on the door. Yeah, it's very... Very nice attention to detail. And solitary. Oh my goodness. That's what we're doing now. Solitary lockdown. OK, 
Can we? Why, why is it going in? That's it. Oh, it only goes to that zoom. Ah. They're getting ready to put me in the solitary ward. So let's go now to his dives. This was the one. Here, it's just taking a while to load. We're getting there. Here we go. I quite like these. This is what uh, um, my friend here on YouTube invited me to see. And this is what we're going to check out. So he's sort of done these dive bars, CD bars. Um, I, I love seeing these sort of things in real life. Um, as long as you don't get beaten up. <laughs> I've, I've ventured into many CD bars in my time. Uh, it's full of characters. And you meet some really nice people, actually. I've met the best people in these bars. Some of these posh places. The, the snobs are the worst people you'll ever meet, really. Look at the stools. <laughs> sort of melted over time. <laughs> oh, they're great. Yeah, here it is. they are quite intricate, actually. So this one is Jimmy's Oriental Gardens. Love it. It does have an oriental feel to it, doesn't it? Wonderful. I like the bar stools. They look mighty uncomfortable, don't they? The dive bar in Massachusetts. Well, okay. I wonder, is, is this a real bar? Perhaps they are. Perhaps he has a modeled them from real bars. I'm not sure. Or is it a work of fantasy? Has he done any close-ups? Here we go. So what's next? Elsie's Tavern. Oh, that's like the, the facade of the tavern. The Mercury Lounge. I like that. It's got a very sort of a 60s, 70s feel to it, doesn't it? With the, the, the sort of uh, fake stonework painted. Painted stonework. Yeah. It reminds me of a, a bar in Sydney uh, called Randy Wicks. <laughs> I think it's still going. I'm not, I'm not sure any Australians, any Sydney siders. If they know about that bar, we used to go there in the 80s. Uh, it was like a pickup joint. You know, it's a tiny little place. The owner used to drive an old Rolls Royce, um, fancied himself as a, a playboy, an aging Lothario. But, uh, it was packed. It was tiny and it was packed. And what's this one here? La Bamba. Ah. La Bamba. Oh, no, it's got the bubblegum machines out the front, too. Can we close in on that? No. And he goes to a certain... And then he goes back. The sake bar. Ah. Japanese bar. I wonder whether they are based on real places. Maybe somebody can tell me. Very interesting they are. I don't know what it, what's he got here. Assemblage. Okay, he's, done, he's doing all sorts of different stuff. Go and check it out. I'll leave the link in the description. Installations. Let's have a look at that. Michael E. Long is his name. Good stuff, Michael. I like it. I really do. The Man Shack. The Wunderkammer. Oh, well, let's have a look at this. Okay. Like a Victorian cabinet. Very well. Now, they, they, they are quite detailed, aren't they? These ones. That's an amazing detail. Does it say how big it is? Oh, I missed that. It doesn't say how large they are. The Man Shack. Okay, yeah. Now, that's a workshop. I haven't got mine quite like that yet, but it's getting there. It's getting there. I've got a more comfortable chair. I've got an executive recliner in my workshop. 
for when I don't feel like working, or when I feel like reclining. Oh, he's got the high fire. Is that a high fire there? Yeah, that's. I like this one. These are really good. I'm glad I didn't. Uh, I'm glad I clicked on that. I nearly, I nearly sort of stopped there, but uh, these are fantastic. Or is this his but? Is this his? Is it? Oh, this his workshop. <laughs> I thought it was a model there. This is actually his workshop. Oh man, I'm, I'm envious. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> What that was, Manchak Two. Yeah, that's a bit like the video I have on on, on Patreon, doesn't it? Uh, those prehistoric uh, fantasy creatures with the wings and stuff. The Rondo. Ah, oh, so he 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 sort of gets a room and then he he puts all this stuff in. Okay. I think Odd it would kill me if I did that to our spare room. <laughs> okay. I'm a bit confused here. Are they installations? Are they actually in, in, in full size or are they or these or are these ones models? I know the other ones are models, I'm just not sure. That sort of threw me off when I saw him sitting there. Well I hope you enjoyed this little diversion. I think that's about it. Um you can contact Michael here there's a contact page and I will leave the link in the description this is a quite a short video hope you enjoy it and uh, I'm going to be doing a few more things checking out different type of themes not just dioramas and stuff uh, as you've seen the last day or two I've done a, a different uh, and the video I just uploaded which I don't know what time frame you're going to get it but uh, YouTube have already demonetized it the son of a <laughs> ah, there you are. All right, my dear friends, we will labor on and we will survive this lockdown. Take care, God bless, and bye-bye. Oh, yeah, I just nearly forgot. Before I go, this will be the next episode of Lockdown with Oddie. Uh, it's Ed Gein's Car Found. This is the one that YouTube has demonetized uh, before I've even posted it. Uh, so I requested a review, the, the normal review you can do through YouTube on the channel uh, that was also reviewed and uh, deemed as non-advertiser friendly. So now I've requested an internal review of it. I've actually contacted Creator Support uh, because there's nothing in this video that deems it unfriendly for advertisers. What a load of bull sh <laughs> what a stinking thing. Yeah, you know my thoughts about YouTube anyway. So I'm not I'm I'm not expecting uh, any miracles. They're probably going to keep it demonetized. It's just the sort of people they are. But I will be bringing this video to you regardless in the next few days. I'm just going to wait and see what they've what they come up with. They say it's going to be late because of this situation with the virus, blah blah. And uh, so we'll we'll see what happens. Um, and even if they don't get back to me in the next few days, I'm going to put it out there anyway. So that'll be uh, so that'll be the next lockdown with Oddy to look forward to and more coming. Okay, take care, my friends. I really am going now. Bye bye.